Hey guys, it's Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for finding us. If you feel like giving us a sub and a thumbs up and a comment and all that, that would be hugely appreciated. We are on the road to 4,000 subs. It's a super, super exciting time to be doing this channel. I cannot wait to hit that milestone. We've added almost 1,000 subs this calendar year so far. Just an awesome time to be doing this channel. And it's awesome that I'm still growing when there's so much amazing competition out there. Like when I started this channel, basically... I had no, I don't want to say I had no competition, but because there were, you know, there was Huss doing like a touch of film. There were a lot of people doing Asian cinema, but there weren't people focusing specifically on like Blu-ray reviews of Hong Kong films. And now there's a lot of us and they're all really awesome people. I've gotten to meet most of them and not in person, but like we, we chat through um, Facebook Messenger and on Instagram and, and through email. And it's just really cool to be a part of this environment. And which is not, I don't, it's not to say that I believe that I started a trend or anything like that, but like there's been all so many releases coming out recently that a lot of people have been like wanting to review them, wanting to be involved in the community and stuff like that. And I just, it's a total coincidence, honestly, that I started my channel basically right when all these releases started coming out. Um, and kind of when 88 started, they started putting out the Jackie films with the slip cases and stuff like that. And Eureka had already put out a couple things and, and it started snowballing kind of, and I was just kind of lucky. But, but the fact that this channel is still growing when there are so many amazing people, honestly, who have more knowledge than me, <laughs> who make better videos than me, who are doing the same thing. So it's really exciting. So thank you for continuing to come back. So this is a really brief update about Chameleon Films. So Chameleon Films is a brand new company out of Australia. And they are going to be putting out their, they've already announced their first three films. And, and two of them are Johnny Toe movies. One of them is Exiled, which is one of my top five Johnny Toe movies. I absolutely love that film. I cannot wait for that release. And one of them is Breaking News. Absolutely classic Johnny Toe film, which is mostly, I think, seems to be really well known for the fact that it opens with a seven minute shot, like unbroken shot that involves crane and city camera. It's just completely insane, mind blowing shot. I should also say I'm not only in the laundry room, the dryer is on right now. So I apologize for that. That noise is bothering you. But that stuff really needs to get dry. <laughs> so the dryer is going. Mm, yes. So anyway. Um, and and the, the, those first two chameleon films, Johnny, they're also putting out a Japanese film that they've already announced. And I apologize that I off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of that film. But the Johnny Toe films, um, I think were supposed to actually come out in July. And then uh, they got pushed back a little bit. But Chameleon posted something on Facebook, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, saying that they will be coming within the next three weeks or so. And I have already pre-ordered both of those. So I will be reviewing those on the channel. But so here's what this update is about. When they first announced, when Chameleon Films first announced basically that they existed and, hey, we're going to be putting out these films, they said we'll be putting out four Johnny Toe titles as, within our first, like, round of releases. And they, they announced Exiled. And they announced Breaking News. And on May 19th, so this is actually a while ago, um, about two and a half months ago, they posted something on Instagram. And I'm looking at this post right now. 24 people have liked this post and only one person commented on it. And this is mind blowing to me that these numbers are this low because let me tell you why. The text of the post says, I hear there's an election tomorrow in Australia. That's the key word, election. And there is a picture of Simon Yam from election. Okay, so if you don't know, Election is one of my, like, ten favorite Hong Kong movies ever. I am obsessed with this movie. I am actually really seriously considering recording my first ever audio commentary, which would just be for fun. It would just be maybe something I put in Patreon or something like that on Election. And I would focus on the screenplay because, as you know, I'm a writer and I have a degree in um, screenwriting and I have worked professionally reading screenplays for studios and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I would focus on. But the, the, the script for that movie. I don't mean the written script, obviously, because I don't have the written script in my hand. And if I did, it probably wouldn't be in English, right? But the the way that the information, the characters, the way that everything is arranged in that film is so good, it hurts. Like, it hurts to watch it. It's so perfect. It's like, why am I even trying? Because I will never be able to do this. Um, but this is like huge freaking news. The election is coming out on like a special edition Blu-ray English friendly. 
And there's 24 likes on this post. I didn't do a video about this because I assumed everyone and their mother knew. And then I started realizing that nobody saw this post. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, people need to know. They said that they were putting out two more Johnny Toe titles that hadn't been announced yet. Okay. If I can make an assumption, I don't know. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is true. If one of them is election, might the other one be election too? which is also one of my favorite Hong Kong movies ever. Probably my second favorite Johnny Toe film. For a long time, it was my favorite Johnny Toe film. It's an astounding film, just like the first one. Or, like what? This is like Holy Grail territory. Cause the, 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 again, I don't have, I don't have Exiled and Breaking News from Chameleon Films in my hand. Cause like I said, they're not coming out for another couple of weeks. Um, but the list of bonus features on there is incredible. Like, these are special editions. They're not screwing around. And Frank Jang is on there, and he's doing commentaries and, like, you know, where Frank goes, I follow. And if they're putting out these election movies, like, <laughs> no one's talking about it. At least not that I see. Maybe I'm traveling in the wrong circles. And maybe I need new friends. Anyway, this is just really exciting for me because it's a personal favorite. But it's also, this seems like really big news to me. So my name is Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. I thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching after six minutes of this video, what are your holy grail titles for Hong Kong cinema? I'd be very interested to know. I know there's like, you know, stuff like Rumble in the Bronx and like those Jackie Chan films and stuff like that. But like what other films are for you, like the ones you're just dying for that you need right now? So we'll see you next time. <laughs>